and greetings everybody hello welcome to today's video so today uh, I'm gonna do very some something very simple uh, remember we had the case structure back then where we want to select a uh, transfer function type right using this enumerated variable so uh, if you want to leave this enumerated variable outside uh, so for example okay this is the end result right so you have a if uh, you have a again an input affecting some transfer function like we were talking in the previous talking about in the previous videos but if I want to change the transfer functions on the fly let's say I have this first order transfer function I want to have this drop down menu for which I can choose what transfer function I want I mean uh, okay and I can choose it on the fly so if I have a first order transfer function I can increase this this uh, variable to 5 and then it will have this first order behavior then of course on the fly I can change it to a second order and then suddenly it will drop down but it will it will go back up because the initial conditions are, are 0 okay for this the initial conditions are 0 so it will it will restart that simulation again and that kind of a thing okay uh, so how, how does one uh, do this kind of uh, enumerated uh, transfer function so let's go where we were the last time where I had this uh, demo uh, simulated simulation generator where we had this we have uh, two methods of in putting in this uh, simulation input okay and output okay and then we want to have kind of a case structure right we want to have a case structure over this transfer function so that we can choose which transfer function we want of course these two are pretty redundant uh, yeah. okay this this these two ones are pretty redundant that's how you would normally do it uh, uh, for sure I think we can just delete it now we don't we don't really need to refer to it at this point in time okay so if let's say you want to uh, have a drop down menu to select your transfer functions what do you do okay you need to go to uh, select a case structure okay a case structure and it has to be within your control and simulation loop so right click go to structures and go to uh, case structure over here case structure you draw it over your transfer function okay so once you have a case structure drawn over your transfer functions lab view will just uh, make all the 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 necessary adjustments okay and of course you want to uh, give a case selector of some sort so we use enumerated variables the the enum variables so where do we find enum variables so go to your front panel and then you select an enum variable okay right click on the front panel go to ring and enum enum enumerated variables so you just put this here and you can call this select uh, transfer function type okay so okay after that you can go back to this panel here and no problem uh, again we will use we instead of wiring this through here we will just use what we learned before the, lo the local variable and you can also find your local variable within the structure okay within the structures tab you will see this thing called local variable so just click that put it here and make sure this is actually reading something so uh, change it change this local variable to read mode uh, select the enumerated variable which is called select transfer function type so the name should be exactly the same here and wire this into your case structure now let's start determining what case structures there are so go to the enumerate, enumerated variable here the select transfer function type and let's let's give it two transfer functions to help okay so by default what what do we want maybe we want a first order Tra uh, or uh, transfer function equals one transfer function equals to one okay this is the most simple then after that I want a first order uh, with delay okay then I have a second order okay these are the most vanilla kind of transfer functions you can think of very simple 
Okay, so there are uh, three cases. The third case, we can just delete it. So we'll just have three cases here. So uh, by default, uh, this this thing will happen to be, you know, first order with delay. Okay, and uh, this will be transfer function. Okay. So the first order to be delay, uh, well, let's, let's really make it a first order with delay. So let's, uh, let's see. Well, we don't we don't have uh let's put a zero here so this will become a first order okay you can even make it a uh, multiple input multiple output but we'll deal with that later so this is a first order transfer function let's see whether we can add a delay in the control and simulation i'm not sure where it is yet go to uh let's see linear systems uh, we have we can have this thing called transport delay. You can put it in here. What does transport delay do? There's an input and output. Okay. So uh okay, so uh let's let's just put this uh first order with delay with this initial condition. Uh and let's wire this in. Okay, so I'm gonna break this gonna break this uh delete wire branch. I'm going to put a transport delay here or maybe about one second give or take and then I'll put wire this output into this transfer function and of course you can adjust whatever transport delays you want okay let's see what happens tunnel missing assignment to tunnel all right okay that one we'll deal with later so let, let's let's see the first order delay first order with delay transfer function the basic structure should be there and of course, for your other case, which is transfer function equals 1, i.e. input equals to output, uh, we can also do that. So we just have this transfer function, hs equals to 1, like literally transfer function equals to 1. Okay, you know, just wire in the inputs and outputs. Okay, function equals 1. This is a uh, very basic. Okay, I have not added the second order case yet. We can do that later. But let's let's see let's see what happens when we start running this thing. Okay, so let me stop. Uh, I want to make this thing a bit bigger. All right. So transfer function one. What does it mean? Input equals to output. It's the very simple. So uh, we can change this. Input equals to output. Transfer function equals to one. So there's no. You can see there's no overshoot. No nothing. It is just transfer function equals to one. So okay. Nothing nothing too fancy there. Let's go to first order with delay. Okay, first order with delay is like so. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Maybe I'm going to start from scratch again. So it looks like the delay over here is uh zero. I guess we can go and uh uh you know check out what the transport delay is okay yeah oh, okay so uh yeah i wasn't too sure about how to get it work to work so i kind of pa paused the recording and figured it out okay basically you have to place your delay after the transfer function bit then it will behave correctly so this transport delay i have a delay of three seconds a max delay of three seconds Okay, so uh, let's press play. So this is a first order with delay. So it delays for three seconds. After three seconds, it will start having this first order behavior. And if I push it all the way down to zero, it will delay for three seconds and you'll then go down. Okay, it's a very nice uh, first order with delay sort of thing. So uh, if you're not sure how to do first order with delay, just uh, make sure to check out the tutorials or I mean the way to do it is of course to put the delay after your transfer function okay so it will delay the signal properly um, otherwise it, it doesn't really work out nicely so if you're not if you're if you are wondering where where to get, get all these examples from they are from the control and simulation under lab view examples lab view 2020 go to examples control and simulation go to simulation and go to uh, continuous linear you'll have a sim x simulation example transport delay okay uh whoops 
okay then you open up and you will be able to see this sort of thing and where you're able to adjust the delay and if you look at the block diagram here uh, they will show you how to do the delay thing properly you notice that the delay is usually after your uh, your signal is generated so I'll stop that so make sure to know when you use your transport delay put it after the transfer function not before okay and now uh, lastly last but not least let's uh, add cases for because we want a second order as well we take a look we want a second second order transfer function okay we want a second order transfer function so um, what we need to do here is go back to the block diagram uh, and then I will want to add case for every value okay make sure you use the enum uh, enum drop down menu right click here add case for every value and you can go to second order transfer function so second order transfer function uh, very very simple let's go and copy this transfer function over put it here uh, and then uh, I will adjust the denominators okay you want to put zeros on top that's fine as well it doesn't really matter for the sake of this video so this will be a second order transfer function so now um, okay so you have a case structure okay okay we have a case structure um, and uh, yeah we have a first order with delay that, that will come after three seconds we can have a second order with delay a second order transfer function then we can just play with it around as we want the the, the things will kind of uh, just uh, uh, kind of uh, what do you call it very real time very at real time so uh, this is your second order transfer function first order with delay okay then I will stop this uh, of course maybe just for just for fun I don't want I don't want the delay to be so long maybe I just put it at one second three seconds is a little bit long to wait okay but uh, yeah so that's your transport delay so after one second you'll start to change after one second you'll start to change one second later you'll start to change so yeah you can see it's a very very nice uh, nice graph over here transfer function equals one the response is instantaneous so you can make it draw any pattern that you want second order transfer function it will just uh, have this second order response which is pretty laggy in that sense okay this is the second order response pretty laggy okay so that's all I have for you this is how do you put case structures in your transfer function and how you put this uh, uh, transport delays okay thank you for watching I'll see you